Hi everyone, this is a quick video from eCourt Maps. Say congratulations on finishing your first two GCSE Maps papers. So you've completed paper one and you've completed paper two, and now you've just got paper three to do. So well done, you're nearly there. So now you've completed those first two papers, the thing I would say to my students is try not to focus too much on how well you think you may have done on the first paper and the second paper, but to really focus on what's coming up that third paper, because everything is still to play for. If you've had really good paper ones and paper twos, hopefully another really good paper will hopefully mean that you're going to get an absolutely fantastic grade. If you've had papers that have gone so 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 far, so in other words, perhaps the beginning of the test papers maybe went quite well, and then towards the end things were maybe getting a bit more challenging, then everything is still to play for. With a good paper three, then hopefully you're going to get that top grade. So keep up the hard work, you're almost there, and everything is still to play for. So in terms of helping you prepare for your last GCSE Maths exam, that paper three, I've had a look at paper one and paper two, and I've had a look and seen what topics have appeared, and importantly, what topics haven't appeared yet, or are usually more prominent on the GCSE Maths exams. So I've had a look to see what topics haven't appeared yet, and if I was revising for my GCSE Maths exams, they would be the topics that I would have a look at first. For instance, if Pythagoras hasn't appeared on paper one and paper two, I would definitely revise it before paper three, just to make sure I was confident on that topic. Now, one thing I do want to say is there's a good chance the topics from paper one and paper two will also appear in paper three. So I would say, obviously, make sure you revise everything between now and the exams. But what I've done is I've made these checklists. So if you're studying for AQA Higher or edXL Higher or OCR Higher or AQA Foundation, edXL Foundation or OCR Foundation, I've made checklists that look like this. So we've got all the topics on the GCSE Math checklist there, just to remind you to look through everything. But I've put stars beside some of the topics. And those stars are the topics that if I think that, you know, if they haven't appeared that much or they haven't appeared at all on paper one or paper two, they're the topics that I would revise first before then revising everything else. So hopefully those checklists will be useful for you. And if you go to Court Maps and you scroll down to GCSE 2024 and you go into each one of those uh, exams, whichever one you're sitting, perhaps edXL Higher or AQA Foundation, there's a checklist there for your paper free checklist and that checklist goes through and it gives you an idea if I was revising for my GCSE exams which topics I feel haven't appeared yet or you know, that haven't appeared yet or usually are more prominent and they would be the ones that I would revise strategically between now and the exam but also go through everything as well just to make sure you're confident with everything. Also to help you prepare for that last exam what I've done is I've created paper free preparation papers and in terms of these preparation papers I've got a question on every single topic because as I said it's very important that you're prepared for everything but also whenever you go into that booklet and you go into it you've got here in green the topics that perhaps haven't appeared yet or usually more prominent. So they would be the topics that I would maybe do first. And I put little stars for them as you're going through the booklet. You see a star, that's a starred question. So I'd maybe look at those ones first. And then I would go through all the rest of the questions as well. So to help you prepare for that last exam, I've created loads of resources. I've created checklists. There's the preparation papers. And also, there's loads of other resources in corporate maps that would be helpful for your revision as well. So for instance, if you need to revise Pythagoras' theorem, if you go to the corporate maps videos and worksheets section, scroll down to Pythagoras' theorem, there's video tutorials there that would be really handy at this point to give you a bit of a recap on that topic. There's also the practice questions and answers there as well for you as well. And so there's loads and loads of resources in corporate maps to help you prepare for that last paper. There's the checklists, there's the preparation papers, there's all the corporate maps resources, those five a days, the video tutorials, which would be really useful for you as well and the practice questions. Another thing I would say is, is being meticulous with your preparation at this point, because everything is still to play for that last exam. If you put a lot of effort in between now and that for the last paper, you can get a really good grade. And hopefully, if you've already got a good grade and you've got a good last paper, that's gonna ensure you get a top grade. But if perhaps paper one or paper two didn't go as well as you hoped for, a good paper three can then pull up your mark. So everything is definitely to play for. So I'd say be meticulous with your preparation. Look at my checklist, look at the preparation papers, look at the code miles resources, and also have a look and see if anyone else has made any paper-free preparation papers, because the more preparation you do for this last paper, the better. And the last thing I want to say to you is you can do this. You've worked so hard, particularly in this GCSE year, you've done so much hard work in class preparing for these exams. You've prepared really hard for paper one and then done it. You've then prepared really well for paper two, and obviously you've sat that exam as well. A last bit of revision now before this last paper, and it'll definitely pay off. So I just want to say you can do this, believe in yourself, keep up the hard work. I'll make another video the day before the exam to wish you luck and to give you some tips as well for that last paper. And I just want to say keep up the hard work and I'll see you later. Cheers. Bye.